As we discussed previously, the most important consideration for a new business owner is the customer. The more we know about the potential customer, the easier it will be to reach them and to tell them about the new business that we are starting. So the business owner must not only identify how many customers he or she will need in a day and in a week's time, but also who is that customer. So understanding the demographic of the customer is vital for the success of the new business. Demographic is the description of the particular customer base. For example, a lawn care business would be looking for a busy household, probably a two income family with young children. This demographic group would be very busy, but probably has the discretionary income to spend on having someone else maintain their lawn. Another potential group would be senior citizens who may not be able to physically maintain their property any longer. In either case, the potential is good that the property owner would pay for someone else to maintain the lawn. Now, looking at their ability to pay a premium price, the focus would once again go back to the two income family with the discretionary income. Often, potential business owners want to have a low price to appeal to the new customers. The business owner will only feel that price is the determining factor for the potential customer. That may be a wrong assumption because the property owner may have a different price in mind as to how much they would pay for the services. Very often, the customer may have an expectation of a higher price than the business owner asks for. Once the business owner quotes a lower price, the customer then controls the price bargaining from that point forward. If price is a sensitive issue for the potential customer, the ability to bargain with that potential customer allows the business owner to determine whether they want to actually stop the bargaining, and in some cases, it may be better off not to get the business than to get it. But it is very important for the business owner to understand what his true cost of operations and expenses are before he quotes any particular job or sets his price for any particular product or service. Knowing how to price your product or service is vital for the long-term success of any business new or old. Whenever I ask a potential new business owner, what is the most important thing needed to start a new business, I get a variety of answers, such as business plan, funding, the right location. But the real important consideration for starting a small business is customers. Customers are, of course, the only reason to start a small business. There are three basic points to remember here. How many customers does a small business need? How much will they spend? And how often will they return? So the consideration for the new business owner is to understand how often someone purchases from the new business. For example, if it's a restaurant, is a potential customer coming once a month, every two months, or just maybe four times a year? How often do you expect to see that customer and how much are they expected to spend in your particular business when they do visit? If the business is lawn care, then the business will interact with the customer on a weekly basis for six to nine months in the average year's time. Then the business owner will determine how much revenue that particular job will bring on a weekly basis to determine the total revenue potential for the week. Once the business owner understands how many services he can provide in a week's time, he can start to do projections. What we are projecting is the number of business services provided in a week, the potential revenue for each service, and the actual number of customers that it will take to fill that particular week's worth of business. Since there are only so many hours in the day, the business owner must determine how much work he can actually perform in a day's time and how much revenue that will bring. The business owner must consider how many people and what equipment it will take to perform this particular service within the time frame needed and adjust his revenue according to the cost that he expects to pay out to provide the service. Since the lawn care business is very seasonal and the amount of daylight changes as the seasons changes as well, the business owner must accommodate how much service he can provide and when he can provide it and of course when he will get paid for the services he has provided. Once we determine the amount of revenue from each client, then we can determine how many clients we need to fill the week's calendar and how much revenue that will generate for the business that week. That projection is then extended out for four weeks 
to fill the month, and then nine months to fill the seasonal calendar. Once we have filled the seasonal calendar, we determine ongoing expenses in the off season, and if so, how much they will be so that we have the cash reserves to pay those bills in a timely manner. Cash flow really is the determining factor on viability of the business. Without proper cash flow, the business owner will need to have access to additional funds, whether from his own pocket or from a bank, but some source of cash to pay bills that are not covered by the work done in the business. If the owner must put money back into the business to pay the bills in the off season, then viability must be questioned. Hopefully, the business will develop a cash reserve to pay bills during the off season so that it is not paid for out of the owner's pocket. The role of the SBDC is to assist the business owner in developing these projections, understanding the true cost of operations, and developing or learning what the revenue potential must be to pay the bills and put money into the owner's pocket. Once again, the only goal for the new potential business owner is to make twice as much money as he or she would be paid to run the business for someone else.